say for example we want to create a page where we can select the month and year and based on that month and year on some other region we'll get data like this so if we select July 2020 the data as we can see here is of July 2020 so how do we do it first of all we will have to pay, create a blank page I have already created a blank page called attendances now on the attendances page I will create a region to hold the values of the month and year so let's create the region and name it month and year type as static content there's no problem with that uh, we can set the template to collapsible so that we can uh, hide it like this we don't want to see it all the time so we can hide it like this and then once this is created we have to create a page item so before creating a page item we can set the position of this uh, of this IF region to breadcrumb bar because for something like this the breadcrumb bar is uh, breadcrumb bar seems more appropriate so here i have already created it on the breadcrumb bar so i have set it on the breadcrumb bar as well now on this region we'll create a page item this page item will be used to store the list of values that is the month and year values so let's name it month and make it pop up lob type now we can set the template to optional and then we'll have to make the list of values so i am using sql query to get an accurate month and year list so I'm using select distinct. I'm using distinct statement to uh, so that I do not get repeating values. Work days. This attendance table will be used and the work desk in the attendance table column will help us provide the list of values. Now that it is created, we don't want to see null values. And then we'll have to set default value. The default value will help to show the initially the value we want to see. For example, I want to see the current month and year when I launch it. So I'll have to set select to uh, see state convert it to month and year number from 12. This statement will help me to uh, initial uh, to initialize the query as of the current month and year now let's save it now let's create the content body region this region will be used to fetch data based on the month and year that we created month and year list of values on the breadcrumb bar so let's name it monthly attend and make it a classic report now I'll be using my local database and the table will be attendances now in the wire clause I have to restrict the data so that the data pages based on this year month and year value
now on the page item submit section we will have to select the P60 month which is this item on the bread number that we have created previously this is very important if we do not associate this the result will not show now let's save it now uh, if we run this we can test this and see that if we change the month and year the attendance region is not changing for this to work we have to create a dynamic action on the dynamic action tab we'll create a dynamic action on change let's name it month change and in the when condition selection type set as region and the region is month and year now on the true condition we'll set the action to refresh and selection type to region and we'll select the region monthly attendance this region now let's save it and run it now if we change the pop-up log value to June 2020 we'll see that this will change as well so this is how I have managed to do it if any of you know any better way please let me know in the comments below